Now to the race for the White House and new reaction pouring in this hour to Vice President Kamala Harris's pick for a running mate. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz answering the call this morning. Video of that call just released by the Harris campaign in the last 40 minutes. Listen, I want you to do this with me. Let's let's do this together. Would you be my running mate and let's get this thing on the road? I would be honored, Madam Vice President. Uh, the joy that you're bringing back to the country, the enthusiasm that's out there, uh, it will be a privilege to take this with you across the country. Harris and Walls are expected to hold their first campaign event together in Philadelphia in just over an hour. Skylar Henry is tracking all of this from the White House for us. Skylar, good evening to you. Hey, Larry, good to see you as always. Yeah, Governor Walz is exactly the person that the Harris campaign says that they wanted to include on this ticket. And it's not only because of his rhetoric, but also because of where he stands on certain policies. They're trying to broaden the ticket, if you will, to try to bring in more of those moderates and independent voters, which will be absolutely key in order for them to win the White House. A large motorcade pulled up to greet Minnesota Governor Tim Walz in Philadelphia ahead of his first campaign rally as Vice President Kamala Harris's running mate. Why pick Tim Walz? A source close to Harris says she picked Walz because of his record as governor and in Congress. The Army National Guard veteran worked as a high school teacher before his political career. Harris is counting on Walz to take the fight to the Trump campaign. It was the first to call former President Trump and running mate J.D. Vance weird. Well, we're not afraid of weird people. We're a little bit creeped out, but we're not afraid. While the Harris campaign is looking for Walz to broaden the ticket's appeal to moderates and independents, Vance responded for the Trump campaign, pinning Harris and Walz is too liberal. Tim Walz's record is a joke. He's been one of the most far left radicals in the entire United States government at any level. Vance was also campaigning in Philadelphia Tuesday ahead of the Harris rally with Walz. We know that there are six or seven states that are going to decide this election. We think that it is shameful that Kamala Harris is running from tough questions from the media. So I'm going to go to every single battleground state that I can. I'm going to answer tough questions. I'm going to talk to people because that is the minimum that you should do if you want to be the president or vice president of the United States of America. Harris and Walls plan to campaign in six other battleground states following tonight's rally in Pennsylvania. And so we will see ultimately what happens. We know that there is uh, perhaps a postponement as it relates to the campaign because of the weather down in the south. We know that there was a rally scheduled in Savannah, Georgia a little later on. We'll see if there's any storm damage that will force them to postpone said rally or if they plan on hitting another battleground state in this week. Larry. Well, certainly they're going to be stumping for uh, their campaign and will be doing so aggressively. So, Skylar, what's next for the campaign in all of this? Yeah, so this week will be the big test, right? For those who do not know the governor of Minnesota, Tim Walz, this will be an opportunity for him to introduce himself to not only those who have supported the vice president up until this point, but those who may potentially be undecided. We know that from there, uh, they will be hitting several of these battleground swing states, if you will, trying to convince many of those voters, uh, especially in the Pennsylvanias where they're starting this campaign or uh, Michigan or even Georgia. Uh, and then from there, if you look past the convention, I think it'll be interesting to see whether these two campaigns the former president and J.D. Vance and the vice president and Tim Walls, whether they debate at any point, because remember, that was something that was supposed to be uh, on the docket, at least in terms of what the original agreement was in early September. We know that there, the pendulum has swung back and forth, if you will, in terms of the commitments surrounding when they would debate, how they did, would debate and where they would debate. We'll see if that sort of thing sort of sticks out there and, you know, Obviously, 91 days to go until the election, and so I'm sure this will not be the end of this wild ride. We know that folks like you will be getting very little sleep over this time as well. So, Skylar, rest up, friend. We appreciate <laughs> you as always. <laughs> Thank you, sir.